Hello to everybody to, at the start of the vlog uh, for week 42. And I'll narrate again for this vlog at the beginning of the week. I'm finishing editing uh, the two short films that I was making. And so I get, to show you, I get to show you a little bit what I do with color correction, just a fun little way to make the scenes a little bit more quote-unquote film-like out of just the li this video cam this flip camera that I use. And so I'm going to show you a little bit of that. And then Manfred has to go to the vet to get his shots. And to finish off the week, something happens to me that uh, was kind of surprising, but you'll find out about that at the end of the vlog. So let's just, let's start this vlog right now. This is my week. Okay, hey everybody, just finally finishing up on the last little bit of, of film that I need to do. I already finished a short film earlier during the week, um, which is from a mission trip, and then what I'm working on right now is what I have been shooting for like, oh, since last December, last spring, till now. Finally putting it all together. And just one thing I want to show you is the difference that um, color correction makes a little bit, even just a little bit of like color correction or just adding a little bit of color uh, into your shots, just the difference between that and making it more film-like than it just looking like a regular video. So here, I'm going to show you, okay. So here is a shot of me just walking across the baseball field. Now what we're going to do with that shot I'm just gonna gotta, gotta do something, just do some facts, and I just actually go to color balance because that is just a simple way to do it. Because I have like all these, like, one second, I have like all these clips to manage. I mean, it's probably an easier way to do it, but I don't know what. <laughs> anyway, so we go and we do color balance right there, and so what I'm gonna do, I just can alter the coloration a little bit in the shot and I'm going to type and uh, anybody can play with this but since it is kind of a and usually I just mess with the blue um, color part of the video but uh, for this film since it is type of nuclear war type film I like to add in just a just a little bit of red so I'm adding in just an extra 500 as well as for the blue part, 700, because you want more, usually want more blue than you want red. There are exceptions to the rule, but anyway, okay, so now you see a shot like that, a normal video shot, and there, see just the slight alteration of color, and just gives you a little more, a little bit more depth coloration to the shot. So that's how I'm doing editing. I should be finishing up with this in the next hour, hour and a half, and probably have a link below in the description for this, and as well as the uh, Mission Mission Possible short film as well. So fun, fun, fun. Got to get back to work. Today we're going to share some information with you. Manfred, what are you complaining about? You're just going to be getting some shots. And... They look good in that man for next case. How roomy that is. Mm. Is Don't worry, buddy. Okay. Manfred. Manfred. Yeah. But don't you like being here? No. I always got to sniff around. It's okay, buddy. It'll be over quickly. Manfred. Hey, buddy. 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 
You're going to be getting your blood drawn soon? Hmm? Hmm? You're not going to like that very much. But that's okay. You'll not remember it in the morning, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll be fine. So Manfred just got his blood drawn and got tested to see if he needed vaccines. And he's just licking the leg where he got his blood drawn. Poor kitty. This is okay. I just tell him, we didn't do it, we just paid for it, so... He can blame the doctor and the nurses. <laughs> Soon, we'll put him in a cage, back in the cage, and head back home, and I'll give him plenty of treats tonight. <laughs> Manfred, you're a good kitty. You did a good job. My week is ending not quite the way I expected it. I mean, you just saw us. We were at the vet. Had man for getting immunizations. Uh, the problem is that um, when I when after just after man forgot those immunizations, apparently um, some fluid from one of those immunizations, we believe it to be the rabies vaccine, uh, the fluid some fluid was on him. I touched it with um, my arm, like the like the bottom part of my right forearm, and you'll see some pictures of. Um, what started to appear on my right forearm like just 12, 24 hours after. And now it's the end of the week. It's, it's been, let's see here, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's almost been four and a half days. And um, since I touched Manfred trying to put him back in his carrier uh, to go home, uh, this is what's been happening. You can see I have having quite a bad reaction and, and the problem is it's um spreading on my hand and it's it's starting to it, eventually it's gonna spread all over my arm. But it's it's basically um starts as a red rash and then turns into bubbles. Yeah man, Fred, we see you. It's not his fault. Yeah, it's not your fault, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Um, and yeah, so I mean, it, it popped up in my hands, also popped up here, so I imagine that um, I probably got some of the fluid on the palm of my hand, as well as um, uh, right here on my, uh, on my forearm, and it's spread all across my forearm, and I feel it spreading alongside here, and it's also right here as well. Um, so, not exactly sure what's uh, what is in the ingredients of that immunization. We're gonna we're gonna try and figure out um, the beginning of next week on Monday because that's when the pharmaceuticals are open, and as well as to see a dermatologist to, to see what the heck is going on and try and fix it because uh, where I'm sitting, this ain't a good thing. So. The, uh, so this week is kind of ending on a on kind of a low note because of this, but I mean, we'll figure it out and uh, hopefully get it resolved next week, so see you all next week and stay tuned.